Hello everyone, I am Vikram P. Maduri here and in this session we are going to discuss SAP S4 HANA ABAP real-time project. So this is a part one of the real-time project in Data Dictionary in which we are going to discuss about a, a database table creation that would be the project here. Um, so this is the project one of part one of Data Dictionary. Now, uh, most of us might already be knowing what exactly is the process for creation of database table, but uh, the major difference would be we are going to uh, play around and do it on SAP S4 HANA platform. That's the, that's a big basic difference here. So for creation of a database table using bottom up approach. So we all already know what exactly is a bottom up approach. It's the it's the concept in which we are going to first create the domains then data elements and then we are going to uh, uh, give the fields uh, create the fields based on the properties from data element so here we have creation of domains so we are creating three domains and create three data elements and we'll be creating a domains with that technical name z e m p n o underscore d o z e m p n a underscore d o z d e p t underscore d o with the properties as uh, uh, as we can see on the screen for character and length as 10 20 and 12. now data elements also similarly we are going to give uh, underscore d but that does not mean that it, it needs to be ended by underscore d o so we might sometimes get a get a um, doubt like you know uh, we do we have to send it by underscore do no it should start either with z or y that's the only criteria nothing else is a criteria it's just purely for our understanding that we have taken it in that way so this is what is the plan and then we are going to create a uh, uh, exactly the same three fields with an additional field called MNDD. Uh, MNDD is a client uh, a name which we would like to introduce to make it as a client specific. This is what we are going to do and uh, yeah. This particular video is uh, just kind of a recap for my uh, already existing students who can understand the concept uh, uh, from where we have ended in this in the in the sessions that we have we are regularly having it if at all if you are looking for a, a basic training on sap any of the any of the modules i would suggest you to uh, go ahead and enroll in a, in a training session then you can understand all these concepts a bit better so that would be my suggestion okay so now moving on to the project we are going to take up uh, this project and we are going to create the uh, uh, you know domains data elements everything we can play we'll play around in abap dictionary and the transaction code for that is SC11. Now you can see that we are in the SAP Demo Cloud uh, platform. Uh, I, I, I'm doing the projects on SAP Demo Cloud platform as well as SAP 1709, uh, even 1709 uh, platform as well. So let's uh, go to the SC11 transaction here. And in this uh, first, uh, as we planned, we'll create the domains. So the domains would be z e m p n o underscore d o is what we are we would like to create and this this is the employee number and the data type is character and length is something around 10 and uh, click on save here the save button is basically the location of the save button is changed from top to bottom so we have here the save button that's something which uh, is new activate the shortcut would be the same control f3 and back and now we'll create a domain for emp and a with the same process create employee name and data type would be character and length is 20 just save it and then activate back we're going to create another field called dept create this is for department and data type is character again the length we have proposed is 12 activate say okay and back we have created all the three domains successfully 
then we'll create data element zdmp no underscore de create data element continue employee name zempno underscore do is the data element domain and we just need to save it okay so we can also maintain this uh, you know label tech field labels so I'm, I'm i'm proposing this field labels as now whatever i'm giving the numbers i'm giving here is uh, the length of the text save activate back in a create Data element continue. Employee name zdmpna underscore d d o. Okay, I'm activating it. I'm just skipping that uh, process of you know uh, maintaining the you know, uh, text fields as of now. You can you can better do that. Like you know, there's nothing wrong in doing it, but just want to save some time it's always good to you know uh, it's always good to maintain the text because whenever we create uh, reports it, it's very important for us to have the default text which implicates there And we need to save it and activate and then let's go for another uh, data type that is tpt data element say okay create data element say continue department and we'll give the domain that we have created there z DEPT underscore D and then field labels we can maintain it 10 department 15 department employee something like that so activate it say save continue activate back so the here we have to go with database table so it's z emp and click on create emp z jh underscore emp and then click on create jets of tech employee data then delivery class would be something like application server data and maintenance allowed the fields the first field as we already know we have discussed in the session that it's it should be mndt because it becomes a client specific so let's make it as mndt here and then we'll go for emp no this also should be a primary key at least one primary key should be there other than the mndt zdmp no underscore de data element should be given here otherwise it doesn't work the domain name doesn't work here zdmp na underscore de department zdept underscore de then click on save local object say okay and activate okay so we can't activate it without giving the technical 
technical details right so we'll give the delivery class as appl0 okay let me check let me select it from the drop down here we'll have something called appl0 and here size category we'll give it as zero here because we are not sure how many records will be there so i'm i'm putting this as buffering not at this point of time and you know we'll have three types of buffering and all this stuff we are going to do that uh, in in the next uh, uh, project so we'll just come back out of this uh, you know uh, yes do you want to save yes we want to save it activate it the warnings warnings I, i'll be discussing about the warnings later so we we basically will have the enhancement warning that we normally have seen just now okay so let's go back and okay this is active now the database table is active and it's it's made client specific and uh, let us uh, let's let us now go and uh, enter the data enter the data into the in, into the database table so here we'll go with uh, the more in this we have something called utilities and table contents and create entries so we are going to enter some records and see the data in, uh, i mean in the database table level so let's go ahead and create the entries so i'll make this 100 and um, this is something like Aditya. department is say management something like that and just save it we'll have a save button in the down so once it's been saved we'll go for 101 as employee number say something like Aditya and management again save 102 these are all my names only so P Maduri management okay fine save so these are all the you know three records I've, I've saved three records here so let's go back and check whether these records have been successfully saved or not so for that we can go for uh, utilities table contents and display entries or you can also use Control shift f10 and uh, you just need to if at all if you want to enter some uh, you know in uh, selection uh, input we can give it here but as of now just we have three records so i'm not giving anything here just executing all the records will be displayed here so these are the records which have successfully been saved into the database table which you have created just now and um, this is by default a uh, column based columnar data storage is what we have done so when we go to the attributes and um, you you can see that you know these are the attributes that we normally have in any of the database tables and these are all the you know fields we have the input check and all these things will be there so these are all the things that we basically uh, see everything uh, you know by default in any of the database tables so but we are doing the same thing on the sap expo hana platform so this completes the project number one in sap expo hana uh, technical so this is a basic very simple uh, project we are going to have more than 100 projects uh, in sap expo hana technical is what uh, we'll be discussing in our training which i normally provide online and this is something which is uh, uh, recap of all those things if at all if you're looking out for sap trainings you can contact us on um, on info at the jhoptic.com and if you like this video do subscribe to our channel www.youtube.com slash jhoptic and uh, also share this video to your friends it would also help them to upgrade their knowledge thank you have a great day